steering, always give yourself a little bit of room for, for error. Yeah, because they, they, with a kicking board like this, you have to be a little bit careful because if they, you're on the kicking board and they spook, then suddenly you find they, they jink sideways and they trip over the kicking board. Yeah. It's much better to give yourself a little bit of play, stay just, you know, two meters away from the kicking board everywhere. Again, it puts you very much in the control. That's what it's all about now with the young horse. It's all about trying to take control of your speed, direction, and outline. I want you to start to feel a little bit. Where does she slow down? Where does she speed up? And I'm going to automatically ask you to switch that. So here, where she wants to hang and go a bit slower, I want you to insist that she stays a bit quicker. That's it. She's not allowed to slow her trot down on her own accord just because she wants to go towards the other horses. That's it. I want you to try and trot a little bit more positive, yeah? Everywhere. It needs to be a little bit more positive. The problem is, is the more you allow her to be superficial with yeah. the way she works, she has... So say she's... At the moment, I'd say she's probably trotting about 60%. Which means she has 40% left in the tank to do whatever she wants with. So if she wants to suddenly spoon or she wants to suddenly react to a noise, she's got 40% more impact suddenly hit you with. Yeah. That's it. And then you can reward her there when you when she's going around in the way that you like. You give her a little reward with your voice or a little rub on the neck to identify for her. This is what I want. If the horses didn't want us riding them, we wouldn't be able to. They like communication. They like actually being um, guided. Yeah. yeah? That's why they that's why they work in, in herbs.